Hi, Kat here for Live of Digital. In this video, we'll be talking about some additional tools from the LD Tools group. And in this case, we're going to have this generic missile that I've just loaded in. It's actually from the Live of 2024 content folder. It's basically a demonstration object for Turbulence FD, but um, the reason why we're using it today is because it's got some sub patching on it. And um, I want to demonstrate one of the fast tools to work with in Layout Layout to change your sub patch levels for both render and display. So under the LD Pro Tools menu, you're going to see a section called display. So after setup helpers, animation object selection display, the tool we want is to change sub patch. And this will basically work as either a global, meaning all objects in the scene modifier, or just the selected objects. In this particular case, I want to modify all the objects in here. Now, these are the default numbers that come in. And the reason why you might want to change the default uh, display level for sub patch from three, which is what it normally comes into, to zero, is that if you have a lot of geometry in a scene, uh, because of sub patched uh, being enabled on your model, and you're hitting performance uh, issues, you can just change the display sub patch level down to a lower level or to zero and turn it off essentially while keeping it still at a higher level for rendering and very quickly and easily go through all those objects. So that when you go into their object properties and it's subdivision, you can see that it's been changed from the default, which is three to zero and then the render sub patch level to three. Now I can modify any of these individually or I can modify them globally. Generally, let's say I want these two. Let's go and change the display. So we're going to do selected objects only. Uh, let's display them to three and we'll render them at like eight or something like that. And this saves me the time and trouble of going through each individual object, even if I do have them selected like so. And I'm going to go into their sub patch settings individually, or even when they're selected as such. And then change those levels manually. So by doing that, that's fine, does the same kind of thing. But this is a fast access tool to this panel where you can go in and change these subdivision levels for whatever you have selected. And it's intended for you to be able to switch a large amount of objects very quickly or just a particular selected object without actually have to go into the object properties and it just saves a step. Of course, this can be made into a shortcut. Whatever shortcut you choose for it um, is up to you. You can go and do so on the end you edit menu layout and go and type for the command uh, LD uh, sub patch. We'll just go sub patch. There's the sub patch change and you can map that to a key, whatever it might be. You can place it in your own custom menu if you find you need access to it on a regular basis, instead of going actually through this menu, you can do that as well. 